I like this. Take some of the middle of the map away. They've got some of that Killjoy utility early on. Coming out from Kuzka to clear some space. Marv. Yep, Marv's going to be the first one to drop He's in this lower bracket for final. Sean, Doug. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's going to hurt. Sean somehow gets another one. We talked about Reyna in a pistol round and how devastating she can be. Already cooking something up. Genji has lost Kusta, but the numbers advantage in their way. What else can they do? They're taking the middle of the map. They're going to walk right into Rockus and Zachary holding the back of the site. But they're going to take B for free. They are, but in this three-on-three, -three, I think the biggest really fight here is Corey you. versus Win in mid. There's no way Win is going to predict this flank coming so late. He's so late. Spike planted. Yeah, up and they're not having smoke well. All right, maybe oh not having smokes isn't going to matter. Goodness. Oh, Corey. Yeah, Corey's going to get the timing. He spotted him, Sean. So there's info there. But I, it's so hard, right? Zachary's it's so hard down because to now help. Zachary's gonna have to create some space, and yep. he is—he does not have the HP to do this, Doug. Three on the swing. Way to take care of win. There's that space. The HP wasn't there. He drops, but Corey, looking to put the round on his back. Already good for three. Down to 22 Ooh. health. Mikael hopefully gets something going there. Oh, Sean! Oh, Sean! They initiated the mid-B split, dug such a good read from Genji. They sensed the triple push in, but quick through a mid-B split. Win holds the flank. And this round is going to be so difficult for FaZe to break into the site. Yeah, they're cooking. They also have guns too, right? Baby Bay and the rest of FaZe not going to have the same luxury. Sean on the swing, showing that the frenzy, although it got nerfed, it still hurts pretty Split. There's a paranoia. You see the spike still hasn't really fully committed to tree, and they don't have a long control, right? Corey's hanging out in wine, so if anything tries to go that way, it's going to be exposed. But Guman, good for one early on. Baby Bay trades it out as Guman continues to go. But again, folks, keep an eye on Corey, Corey. in that spot. Five Baby Bay, and there eight. he is, answers one the call, takes remaining. care of Guman. Baby Bay, good for three. And Kusta's left alone. He's got a bulldog. But in a 1v4, yeah, Baby Bay's weak, so, you, you know, you maybe get a frag or two on the way out here, but it doesn't look like he's even going to be able to get that. He's going to drop a 4k for Baby Bay, and when you talk about... Now, I think Old Faze would have bid on this, but they're not fighting at all on this phase. Oh, they're still staying, and at this point, they've got to understand where the play is. You see Corey start to rotate over. Win already good for one on the Rockets, but Zachary's still on the back of the site, right? If he's left alone, he can really anchor the site by himself. Or face, he's got to get challenged. Sean's there. Corey with the showstopper, going to bring it online. But he's zoned off so hard, there's really no way to make impact with that. Now he's going to go. Flashbacks himself. Oh, oh. still gets the shot on to Kusta. A big kill there. A 3v2 in favor of Jenny. The fight is down. And numbers continue to go in favor of the attacking side. Corey alone here. Had some magic with the showstopper, but is now really out of resources. And he, I mean... Doesn't have much to his name at all, Sean. No, I think this round is all the over here for Corey. But I, Jet's there. The Jet's been there this whole time. So they drone, but that's two people. So Faze starts to rotate, and here comes the ult. Corey has, he goes down, the site is open. Oh, it was open for me, Baby Bay and Mark oh, show up, and they hold fast. Genji is dropped, they've been picked apart. Just down to two members remaining, Mikael and Kusta now. Kusta does have that lockdown that we talked about earlier, but in a 2v4 here, the spike is down in the middle of the site, so it's not like they can, it's not like they can easily get to it. This is a brutal situation for Genji. Yeah, things turn, things can turn so quickly when you're playing this phase team, right? Marv runs through the dark cover, takes down two, gets himself on the scoreboard in the game, and phase is in full control this round. It would take a huge mistake for Genji to come back in. Yeah, and it just went from, from a huge mistake to that freaking have anything to counter that lockdown at all. They're just going to let it go. The paranoia comes out as they get onto the side and face kind of have to respect it, right? They just they just really have to back up. Twins are already good for one. Baby Bay up in heaven. You mentioned them not being ready for it. And so far, that seems to be the case as when drops. Mikhail on the flank. The Empress is online. Smoke's going up. As they still haven't been able to get onto the side and look for the members of Gen G. They're playing so far off, right? They have safety valves. If things go sideways on the site, they still sub have some of that in play. Yeah, and this Rena in hell is terrifying right now because she could dismiss out on contact. Oh, she might be very faster. scary having the Rena here. Oh, oh there's oh. the Rena, baby! They dropped down! Oh my!
my gosh, they take the sight back. Beautifully, what a retake from FaZe up. They are, but Corey's boombox heard nothing, A main. So FaZe has an inkling. Well, Mark is already off hat. Mark is behind him. Uh oh, we haven't oh, seen something like this. Been lost. Yeah, we haven't seen a hit like this from Gen G. Zachary still on the back of the site. The Bucky's offline. Very well played. And now the cavalry should be arriving. Zachary was good for one more, but he eventually You mentioned the standing. push coming in from the other side. Marv Five taking care of Mikael. We're not playing it. Oh! Oh! Baby, the Red Bull clutch out of his mind. Brilliant. At least still present across the middle of the map, but uh oh, that's not good. No, Baby Bay already opening up this round. Quickly, a three on five for Gen G. Giving up what they've, you know, blessed themselves with these this ec economic advantage. Oh, the oh. It's unreal. And at that point, you're fully overwhelmed, right? You've got all sorts of nonsense flashing across your screen. Very difficult to be able to respond to that. That's going to leave one alone. Now, the one thing, right, is he's got the spike. And he's one point away from the blade storm, so it's it's not. I mean, entire. I mean, yeah, it's hard, Sean. This is hard. Yeah, it's it's really hard right now for Huynh in this one on four. Yeah, he has no info. He's a jet. He has quite a few abilities, right? He has a dash. He has two updrafts, and if he plants, he can pull out his daggers. But man, oh man, would Faze have to give him some one on ones for him to win this one? Thirty seconds left. You know, maybe just get the extra credits in your pocket from getting the spike down. Maybe an exit frag or two along the way. Go out swinging. Yep, good uh -oh. for one. They are going one by one, Doug. They're doing it. Oh, that's just that's just the first box checked off the list. He's going to have to do a whole lot more to win this round. And Brock is swinging at just the right time onto his blind side. Never had a chance in that moment. Marv's going to get the defuse. Phase are going to... And he's dropping the lockdown. No way. What? What a psychopath! He's locked down inside the main. Oh, it was a mistake! They had to go in to take it. Yeah, they're gonna get the lockdown, but they've paid a costly price as they've dropped two. Fortunately for Genji, they respond with two of their own. The 3v3 here, Marv is taking the middle of the map. Good for one, not good for anything else as Kusta responds. The round resets, the map resets as both teams hightail it to A. Well, if they let Kusta plant both of these players will have ults, but look, both these players are here. Bebe's already here. Baby Bay doesn't bite, but it doesn't matter. Kusta gets to the rocket left alone. No, rocket drops at the right time. The fight goes down. A little ring around the oh. rosy, and Rockus does it again. He's going to get the defuse. We're tied up at five. Ults are building up. Mark has to be careful. Frenzy's in the smoke. Could be dangerous. Oh, the gun barrel. The gun barrel, and he mows him through the smoke. Smarf, good for three. Whew. One enemy oh. enemy. He's going at wind. Wind's going to updraft and be above this, this ult. Oh. Paranoia. Dash. Wind drops. There's the showstopper. He does use it aggressively. Yeah, wind drops, but you already see Genji adjusting, right? Look at the front of the shadows into the back of the site, but Zachary responds, reads it like a book, takes him out. Genji are completely at a loss here, Sean. Oh, Genji trying to get a little cheeky with an instant response from GMD. That does not work, but still, this I can vault. It has. We are now in a three-on-three, -three, Doug, and this round is anyone's. Oh, the Empress coming online too, that's huge. Mikhail's gonna get the spike down. Mikhail has his ult. If this drone tags someone, and maybe Kusta has in trouble. You should run. There it is. No Hunter's Fury on the other side. Rock has died early and isn't gonna bring it into the next round. Meanwhile, for Mikhail, certainly has that available. He chooses to invest in tags. Deal some damage. Corey's oh, gonna get tagged up, but. Brutal. That's a long wait here with little time on the clock. Go. They're gonna have to go here soon. So far, Marv, good for one. But you're far from getting what you need. Corey gets it. Mikael responds. A 1v1. Corey. Mikael. Corey on the tap. No way. He's gonna go all the way. Swings it to half. Mikael gets the kill. The 1v1. And ties us up at six. He backs off. The paranoia's there. Not sure. Yeah, it did connect. That's brutal. He's a sitting duck there. Maybe and now we look at Sean and Kusla to hold this site. Look, oh, I like this. slowing down. Cover, yeah, down. and then look at what Genji have done. He's taking the middle of the map, but Marv snips it out. As Chaos and on the side of 2v2. Wind drops, Kusa's left alone. 
Oh, the turret's there too. A third man on the map. In a sense, his face is all that utility was used, and then they pull off, right? Meanwhile, they're still droning their way into tree, while FaZe has already punted on that, oh, right? Like, they've moved on, they're taking the middle of the map, and they're gonna go to B. Guman already dropped instantly. They have Again, Kusta! Kusta! Good for two! Wind drops as well, that's huge! Sean's left alone! No way. Sean now in a one-on-two. The round is absolutely wild. They have no idea where he could be. The bomb is down right in front of him. They have no choice but to come into him right now. And Corey just upgraded a weapon to a moment ago. He had a Spectre. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Doug. Playing together like this against the Reyna, if she takes one of them out left. and dismisses, it doesn't matter how close you are. Yep. Your trade does not matter. Rockus is weak! Oh, Rockus! Turrets there, so they, they don't know if they're beaming. They hear this drone. They really feel the A hit. Wind. That's Could a big line. Oh, it's huge. And Mikhail swings as well at just the right time. The dart was there. And he backs up into his own smoke to stay away from the dart. Meanwhile, Corey, using the showstopper, finds so much space. Look at how Genji responds, right? They don't get, they, they're not even in the same zip code anymore. They have to respect that. <sighs> Unbelievable plays from Genji. Face found themselves in a 2 1 5. Raucous in A main, no recon right now. And this flank, this is this is everything. One enemy remaining. Everything goes in favor of Gen G, and all of a sudden you start to think, like, man, that showstopper is costly, right? Like in a 2v5 there, that's not cheap. And nothing doing quite yet. Oh, oh, this is a big fight. Oh, he actually got him through the smoke. But Sean is trading that in B main. Zachary falls with no oh command control. The fast A split comes in when they lose B main. Great paranoia there from, from GMD, however, to kind of delay things, but they still take tree. And Marv is in a great spot, Sean. Good for one. Baby Bay drops one as well. It's just GMD alone and face swarm the site. They overpower what Genji had. Interesting because these cat players. Oh, is Marv gonna stick this? No. Marv is actually stuck. Oh my goodness, that was so close. And Kusta oh. takes out Marvin spawn. The showstopper comes out. That is an effective, but the rifle in the hands of Corey is. There comes the hunter's Baby Bay's pushing him. Out of Mikhail. Baby Bay goes in aggressive and he takes him out. Get out of my he way. He still has the blade sword too. 4v3. Here as things continue to fall apart. Rockets should be able to get the spike down. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Alright, here we go. No lockdown here. Zachary's in a great spot. He's the tip of the spear. If that goes sideways, they still have the back of the site. And I wonder at this point if Genji just kind of played for exits. Right? Oh, yeah. Just try to kill, like, ruin economy. Yeah, this is a rough spot. He does have the daggers. He could pop those here. No way. Yeah, that's very unlikely. You gonna go for it? Sean, he's going for it. The mad lad's gonna go for it. One enemy remaining. Oh, and it was a bait for Gen for Guman. Hello. Gwen with the op. 1v1 and Zachary catches him on the side. So that way he can't get pushed. Takes out Marv in spawn. That is an insane play from Kusta. That is incredible. And then you have... Uh, I'm, it's all it's all blur. Mikael's ulting in spawn. <laughs> and at this point, I think FaZe stands in it. Have to go big with the blades. He's gonna have to go big with the blades. Doesn't connect onto anything. Maybe Bay gets tagged up. He gets pushed back. The spike's gonna go down. Genji with a gun disadvantage, looking to retake the site. Yeah, and the thing to look out for here is Kusta's lockdown, right? That's the only thing Genji has going for them. He absolutely has to use this. But they're just gonna push him. Oh, he stands no chance. No, he's alone. He drops, wins left alone. No plays online anymore. All he has is a frenzy. Down to 40 health, the showstopper. You can updraft as much as you want. But you're now he rotates A, now they have three A. He's the good for one. And that's the other thing, is they, they intentionally take you off the goal, right? The flash is there, baby fit, no way! Gets the kill, dashes away to safety. Corey getting one with the room, but baby they understand where the pressure's coming from. They don't fully take pipes, but they, they you know a couple of pot shots out there, make them think twice about making their way in. You got a couple of members on phase that are real weak though. Baby base just down to 10 health, but they're holding down U-Haul and they're gonna let them pass before they go out on the swing, but it was just a bit too early. Mikhail responds, Rockish trades it out. The wall's wall! The wall! It's not gonna let him go! 
pockets, but we're gonna stick it! Oh! No way! No freaking way! And something to keep in mind, guys. Phase, Zachary's not on that Sentinel roll. So the Breach, although he has tons of impact, look where Michael's at right now. He's already behind enemy lines. He oh, might dude. clean up right here. He's gonna walk right into it. Please. One. Looking for the second, but the push through what? for Sand, it was just too much, right? He got pinched in because Baby Bay made his way in as well. Now they're gonna, they should have a bit more room to get onto B as Genji scurries to rotate. Oh, this is a Sheriff fight. He actually has an advantage with the Sheriff from this far. Oh man, this is not looking good for Genji. Yep. They're in a four on three retake now. Faith Five has plenty. control of Elbow. Oh no, this is, this has gone from bad to worse. He's gotta close the gap here. Right? Like, you've got to keep the distance to be able to have, or to, excuse me, you've got to reduce the distance to really give your Spectres a chance to shine, as you mentioned, up against the Sheriffs. They're on the site. He'll start to trade back and forth. Corey's going to fall as well. Baby Bay drops three on the round for him, but not enough. Guman and Marv, Omen versus Omen. Guman tapped. He's going to tap again. That's going to force the swing. He got the info, but he's running out of time, Sean. He's going to have to go. Guman opting to go in aggressive, and Marv's just going to run away. I don't know that he's going to have time. No, there's no time, Doug. There's no time. Marv with a fantastic tickle. He's going to come with his knife out just to rub. He was posturing that way, but he had to back up. Right? So they should have pretty good access onto the site now, Sean. This should be a pretty, pretty... Certain he hit the spike is in hookah. It's not a few more so the telly is not the play. They want this site. Baby Bay, Rockets, Corey, they're Last taking it right standing. out of Genji's hands. They don't seem to stand a chance. Holy hell, the support from Zachary. You could just feel him. You could feel him when we were watching that player in the B site. The fall line comes in, the flash comes in. We saw the aftershock at long B prior to all that. Baby Bay going up in the air again to create space. It's the same formula on every. Oh, they're going into Char quick again. Griffin said Acousta just getting dashed into. He's going to drop. The Sheriff wasn't doing a whole lot there. Guman took space away as he pushed up a short, understanding that the pressure was coming in showers. The thing is, the spike is there. Sean, this Guman fight's can big with, with Raucus. This fight's real big, Doug. See Raucus there getting a little jiggy with it, and he wins the fight. But again, he's trapped, right? Like. Yeah. Look at Mikael, he's pushing in too. Oh, Mikael, I think... Yeah. He just used a piece of utility. I don't believe he did. Oh, he, he might have used... No, he did not. No, he did no, not. No, no. But he could have caught Rockus, but Rockus gets away with the spike. And now this is looking real difficult for Mikael. He has his ult to work with. He yeah. could make it really crazy, but... Oh, this is... Even if he you know, takes one out with the ult, he still has a Bucky, and he still has to cut all that distance. Maybe you play to buy time. Oh, this flank though. Oh. Surely. Oh no. Oh you can no. Can upgrade a gun too. Oh no, the timing. It was there, right? Like there was a warp elbow as they worked their way in. Counter. God. Hunter Fury out of me. Yeah, just buying time, but they're gonna push him. They're gonna push him. And Zachary takes him out. Mark is still on the side. Members on the side of Genji are phased. They're just so weak. 3v2 in favor of Genji. Kusta down to 15 health. The spike is still not down, Sean. This is insane. FaZe has such a huge advantage HP-wise. No utility left on the FaZe players. Not much left, though, for Genji either. I, I think the, the brutal thing here is... You might want to try to flip the back because the Rockets is so deep in. They almost have that to commit. Oh no, the timing! And look at Mikael use the drone down B long, so you get so much info. You already see Kusta rotating over for Genji because they know where the hit's coming from. Meanwhile, Guman's there with the paranoia. You mentioned the showstopper. Here it comes. Corey pushing his way forward. I like this from Guman. Marv drops. It still hasn't gone off. There it is. It's not going to connect onto anything. Baby Bay down to 51 health. Sean on the side. Good for one. Looking for a second. No, he falls. Genji's on, on the flank. Remaining. The, the wow. presence of mind, Sean. How many times have we seen Guman at the opening of the round, understanding that FaZe want to play showers? He pushes in short, right? Bring that setup over here at showers. Now, so keep an eye on this. Look at how much Guman is taken away in showers while Marv is up a short. Now, you don't have info on showers. You can't easily take the teleport out. 
Oh, Mikhail's in big trouble. Just gotta buy time. Yeah, exactly. He needs to rotate quick. Gotta buy time. Oh, 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 no. Marv, the line of defense, right? The nuisance that stops them from getting onto the site. Wins op comes online. Well, okay, so the flash comes out. There's no question that that's where the hit's going. Regardless of whether or not Baby B gets the pick, they rotate off and it doesn't matter because Sean is wise to it. Swings on him, takes care of him. As the rest of Genji hold on to fast to the site, but it's gonna drop down to a 2v2. Sean with just 20 health. 13 seconds left. They've got to get the spike down here very soon, Sean. Ten seconds yeah, left. the Boombot is the best tool in play right now. He's going to send that into the site. That's going to go after Marv in a second. So they know Marv is in the tube. That's about all they know, though. Right. Who's this in a great spot? You wonder if Sean kind of peeks in early. Oh, we got 20 health. Dash across. Understanding where one of the players likely is. Who's this? My gosh. Wow, Doug. Wow. Lynn, excuse me. I like the spot that's hard, but Corey wise oh, to it. Oh. Man, that hurts. Yeah. The bleeding just is not stopping right now for Gen G. All these yeah. opening battles going in phases way. And it's it, it's just the gun duels. They're just aim diffing them. It feels like at all yeah. these turns. You're starting to get a feeling with the momentum swing the other way. Counter Paranoia is one up showers, one down short. Here comes the showstopper from Corey. Step of the spear, looking for a clear. Who's just going to drop there? It's going to be the chance of you, Hall, but Grumon takes it out. Zachary responds, however. The showstopper didn't deliver, but Zachary did. Rockus gets the spike down. Oh, boy. Marv's in heaven already. So is Baby Bay. They're pushing so fast. player standing. Quinn just hasn't even had a chance to just come into this game. It just feels, I mean, you said it perfectly, right? If they if they are going B, he's behind a wall. So, I mean, he's not even going to get contact for a long time. If they go A, he's at B. So he finds himself out of all of these rounds, as opposed to the prior map when he's Jet and he's initiating. He's actively taking these fights. You know, he's creating space for his team. He's creating these opportunities. But here, here he's, I don't even know if this is something he wants to fight for. Oh boy, yep, there it is. So, Mikael risking his life to get the Marv is Marv. in spot. Marv, no way! John with a great response. There's the ult from Mikael that he risked his life to get. They have no what? smoke stuff. No, no, They're no, literally no, just no, gonna no. send it A. What? <laughs> Baby Bay gets paranoid, goes straight to the telly, doesn't clear any angles in hookah. He's going in hookah. Oh, what? This is, this is insane. This is Plan B. Insane. Right, or maybe even Plan C at this point as they totally just adapted on the fly. Wynn's gonna get flashed up, still lands a shot. On to Mikhail as he dances around the can, he's eventually gonna drop. The Blade Storm coming online. The good thing for Gen G is they have their two remaining members coming in from opposite sides. And Corey's weak. Well. And then Baby Bay what, happens. What do you do, Doug? What do you do? I, I mean, the... It seemed like Gen G played the round so, so well at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm saying. FaZe didn't even know what they were doing at the time, and they're still just <laughs> demolishing Gen G in these fights. Oh man, that's difficult to deal with the flash. Ooh, the line double Zachary. flash. Yep. Triple Zachary flash. pushing in. Oh boy. Alright, a good response from Gen G, though. They've gotten a couple of important picks to do a short. But they really... I mean, they, they haven't done anything with it, Sean. They're not really in any more of a position of control than they were at the beginning of the round. Yeah, this four on, on three with massive health advantage, though, and frenzies rolling around. I mean, I have to give an edge to Gen G here, especially on the attacking side. You know, they have shower control, they have short control. And even if there's a phase player behind them, that player would, you know, really have to hit a timing right now. So you can see they're trying to not allow that to happen because yeah. that would be catastrophic that can't happen as we can see by the minimap but they have to make sure it can't for a little bit and then they're going to go a into the stack yikes yikes doug it's going to happen the telly is always there the telly is always there yeah but do they... Ooh, the wall okay so when's going to get the wall up 
the paint cans, the paint shells, excuse me, are going to make him think real long and hard about whether or not he wants to play it there as he gets pushed off, remains. but he's going to stick it. They don't have a choice. Sean, they've got to go here, but it doesn't matter. Mikael and Kusta really clean up the site. Ooh. So, meanwhile, the Paranoia's there. It doesn't connect, but it doesn't matter because GMD with this Phantom does. Maybe Bay trying to answer things up. He's going to get pushed back. Sean going to get aggressive. He drops. The flash just comes through the walls up. They can't push their way into the U-Haul. Oh, they know two are you though, Doug. They know the breach is there. They know the bed is there. Oh, what a swing from Kusta. Wow. The round slows down finally. We're in a three on two. Zach Corey has no util, and that is very important. But they're buying time, right? They're buying time for Corey to get there. Meanwhile, Mikael Telly's what? out. Corey has to step back. Questionable play right there from Mikael. And now now Corey's the activated. He's got the fault line. line too. Oh. Not anymore. All right, Corey, what magic do you have? A 1v2, the spike's down. I don't, yeah, he, he just doesn't have time, Sean. Yeah, I think this is the right play from Corey. There's too many unknowns. You know, they know his, his position. It's taking this gun into the next round is definitely the play. All he's gonna need, he could get an orb and one frag with this gun. Well, Mikael uses the Hunter's Fury. Marv, you mentioned he was there. Doesn't get a chance to even fire his gun. The Neural Theft is gonna be used as well. There's the Rolling Thunder, pushing them back, buying some time. There's Sean, with that showstopper that you mentioned, looking for anyone. He's not gonna tag anything. They've gotta get this fight down and they've gotta do it fast, Sean. Eight seconds left as members die on both sides. As the spike finally goes down, Corey with the showstopper of his own, taking care of Sean. Mikael's left alone. They've done it again. Three on one with Mikael, and he takes out one. But as well, Torte. New showers specifically, but again, there are two members from Phase just on the other side of the smoke. Go, oh, Mark. Good for one. Sean trades it out. The spike has arrived now, and now they're in a brutal spot Break where you've got inside a. damage. You still go. Hunter Fury's going to be used. Baby Bay going in aggressive. Good one for one. Oh my gosh. Okay, Mikael. In a 1v2. Well, it's a 1v3, but he took care of one. Yeah, he knows baby face on short. He knows the Sova just ulted from spawn. He has all the info, but can he get the shots? He's got to land this one. Got to land this one. Okay, on a 1v1. 30 health. Sean, but the info's there. And he can just play for time. Rockus is surely he doesn't. Oh, surely no. Just a half. Mikael on the swing. Rockus plays that masterfully. Wow, in game. It's out in favor of phase. They have a two round lead here coming out of the attack pause that came out for Gen G. Baby Bay, hello. Left, right, good night. Takes care of Kusta looking for more. Marv is actually the one that cleans him up. They're going to continue the full send down shower. Cool. And right, left and right. <laughs> Sean, all across the map. Utter disaster for Gen G. Oh man, a drop of blood hit the water. The sharks on well. phase just salivating it just it feels like they they sense that genji's weak right now in confidence yeah. and then, I like, how often do we oh, talk about it coming out from mikhail speeding trying to clear that Puka. that's not hitting the jet oh, so this is almost oh, beautiful but they sniff it out genji responding very well win with the specter getting one you will not and they're gonna get onto the site the res is gonna come through zach is still alive he still has a good bit of utility Mikael's gonna get the spike down. Oh, the spike great planted. spot, Sean. Oh dear, Sean with a big misplay, jumping on a hook and no elbow smoke. We're in a four on two. Zachary's trying to figure out how to use this utility. Trying to figure out how to get Raucus out of spawn. Yeah, this that is gonna help. Yep. That is gonna help. We're in a three on two. This is so winnable. A flash on Zachary still. Here it is. But the spike is ticking away, Sean. They have to go now, right? And you force them in a situation like that, understanding that the clock continues to tick away and you've got to pull the trigger sooner rather than later. You force them into, like, not always great decisions where they have to take risky play the way. They're not going to see anyone home. Fountain down be long and instantly look at the two members from FaZe hightailing it towards that. Yeah, they're going to have to run. This hit's going to come in the next five seconds. I think they'll get here in time, actually. One of the things that's so fun about FaZe is how quickly they react, right? They're seldom late to a play, and there it is. Marv is there. He's already good for two. Showstopper's going to be used. Corey, not connecting. One enemy remaining. Oh my gosh, a 1v2. 
Oh, baby Mom's base here with the alone. operator. He's been here the whole time. He's got a smoke! <sighs> Towers, they send a flashpoint. They're just trying to slow things down, and they do just that. There's way too much presence at the A site for Genji to take. Phase. You understand that's what hits going. They can hit the flank, and the members on A can peel back. Or down. they just get the kills. <laughs> right, like, it's just one that remains. Kusta in a 1v3 to keep tournament life alive, alive, to hope to get the chance to get to the grand finals, to punch your tickets to a date with FaZe, I have or with Settles, excuse me, who's just gotta go big here. So much pressure. Uh, Rockus oh. shows up at just the right time, FaZe punched their ticket.